Hello future developers, welcome to another tutorial of ABCD. So in our final lesson, we are actually saying I'm going to work on these. Okay, so we already have our container or buttons and then we are left with the text. Okay, so that said, uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's um, see what we want to do here. So this and then this and then this. Okay. So in our index, let's see their names. So we have the money. Okay, so we have the money container div, which is housing our new price. And then let's do here old price. Old price. Okay, so remember to change it to old price. So our old price. Okay. So um okay, so money as the main class, the container, and then we have the ID to hold the prices. So let's target our container first. So dot money. Then we'll do give it a display flex so that they align horizontally or in a row form. So display flex. Okay, so you can see now they are in a horizontal form. So flex gives us um, this property called column, column gap. So column gap to help us get some spacing. We also have row gap, but in our case, we would have to use column gap. I'm going to do 60px. Okay, so we separated them. And now we would want to do some alignment. So align items. Then we'll do center. Align items, do center. Now the reason why we did the center is um, if I reduce the size, it will actually go up. Okay, so let me comment that out, and then we'll enable it in a moment. Okay, to show how that works. So let's go to our new price. So our new price is an ID. So new price. Sorry, new underscore price. Okay, so here we want so new price and the new price. Okay, remember it's an ID. We have it uh, here. So new underscore price, new underscore price. Then we are going to give it its values or property. So I'm going to set its color to RGB brackets, and then we'll do two five five for our red, 120 for our green, and then 79 for our red. Okay, so this is what we have now. Okay. Then let's see what we can do with it. Um, let's give it a font family. Uh, better so you can leave it that way. Okay, so I'm going with Vedena, okay, Geneva. So this, and then that should be it for our new price. Now let's work on our old price. So our old price, I can just copy this, Control C, paste this here, and then I'm going to change the new here to old, so old, okay. And then the color, I'm going to give it a color of, uh, let's take this out, and then let's use hash AAA, okay. So you can see it's become faint a bit. Then the font, okay. It's okay. Then let's give it a font size of 15px. Okay, so you can see it looks like a superscript. We don't want that. Um, you can decide to leave it this way, but uh, I want to align it. Okay, so which is why we have to use this. So in our money, okay, I'm going to take and comment it. Okay, so now they are on the same line, centered, okay. Okay, so now we would want to work on our title text, which is this, okay. So it's called title, we give it an ID title. So 
we have to hash title control paste control v and then we'll set our title color let me just copy all of this then i'll paste it here control v then we are going to give it a font size of 30 so we'll just change it to 30 okay and then our color is going to be uh, let's copy this control c i'm going to paste it here uh, here rather okay and then uh yeah the font family is fine and then we want to actually capitalize make it um, uppercase so instead of us going to our index to make it uppercase we can better so use the css property here which is called text transform the text transform we have what's uppercase so it becomes uppercase as you see here okay so i think that should be it okay when we maximize this is our final result that we want. You can decide to give yourself an assignment of actually making it look much more beautiful. You can work on the spacing, the text, the icons, okay, and the likes, okay. So let's see what I can do here. Uh, I remember commenting this out. Let's take it out and see what we'll do first. So nothing much is achieved. 20px for all the sites, sub info. Okay, so he actually aligned it. Uh, let's uncomment it and see. I'm actually not seeing the difference, but um, let me comment it out. Then let's maximize, and then you can see this is what we want. Okay. So congratulations on uh, doing your first preview, um, product preview, and then uh, I hope to see you do much more interesting uh, designs on uh, front end as we did today. So um, thank you for watching, and then I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.